Today I will share with you how you can correct the horizon of your 360 photo from this to this and I will also show you how you can recenter your 360 photo from this to this all using Affinity Photo. You can follow along this tutorial by downloading the 10 day free trial of Affinity Photo in the video description and you can also download the 360 photo I'm using in this video as well. So once you've got all that let's get started. To correct the horizon and recenter your 360 photo, first open up Affinity Photo. The next thing you need to do is import your 360 photo. So to do this, go to File in the top left hand corner, click Open, choose the 360 photo you wish to edit and click Open. Here you will see your 360 photo in an echo rectangular view and you can see over here that the horizon is bent. Now the next thing you need to do is add grids so when you do correct the horizon you know it's straight. So to do this go to view, click grid and axis manager, click show grid, go to the advanced tab, check the uniform tab. The spacing should be half of the width of the photo so we know the width is 6080. So 6080 divided by 2 is 3040. Change the divisions to 2. So now you have a vertical black line and a horizontal black line in the middle of the photo. Click over here to change the color of the grid lines and I'll change it to black by moving the circle all the way to the top of the triangle. Make sure these circles are all the way to the right so you can clearly see the black lines on the photo and once you have that all set, click close. Now you need to change the view into another view so it's easier to edit. So to do this, go to layer, live projection and click equirectangular projection. So now you can see your 360 photo in a more natural view and you can see the horizon is bent. You can move the photo left and right by changing the heading you can move the photo up and down by changing the pitch and you can zoom in and out by using the field of view. To straighten your 360 photo you are going to use the straighten tab. Click on the drop down, drag the slider left and right and use the grid lines to make the horizon straight. Once you are happy with it let go of the mouse and now your photo is straight on this axis. But you need to make sure that your photo is straight all the way around the photo. So over here, change the heading and scroll across to look at the side of your 360 photo. And over here you can notice that the 360 photo is still bent. So once again, use the straighten tool, move the slider left and right until the photo is straight once you're happy with the selection, let go and now your photo is completely straight. Now let's say you want to change the center point of your photo from this view to this view. Just change the heading to wherever you want the new center point to be. Click center coordinate system and you now recentered your 360 photo. To export your photo, you need to get out of this projection view. So to do this, Go to Layer, Live Projection, Remove Projection and you can now see your regular echo rectangular view of your 360 photo. To export your photo, go to File, Export, make sure JPEG is selected, choose the preset JPEG best quality, make sure the quality is set to 100, click Export. Choose a file name for your 360 photo, choose where to save it to and click save. That's it, now you can share your 360 photo on social media and I'll see you in the next one.